How's it going, everyone? Just going to give it a couple more minutes, see if we got a couple more people joining. My name is Emra. For those of you, of you who don't know me, I play for the Roots, number 21, center back. Just enjoying, uh, just enjoying myself on my patio, the beautiful view, San Francisco. A little sunset coming through. Ready to enjoy myself with uh, this Q&A with, uh, with you guys, the fans. Hi, Roscoe. How's it going? Hi, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Bendiga. The Bay, yes, ma'am. How's everyone doing tonight? This afternoon, rather, whatever. Sorry, so many, so many comments coming in. I'm just trying to keep up as, as much as possible. What's up right behind you, Mean? Where's, where's right behind me? Living out here in San Francisco? Town business. Project 510. Make sure you guys follow our Project 510. A lot of good talent there. Hope everyone had some good, good fun during the holidays. Happy New Year's to everybody. Oh, we got Dana Point in the building. Hi, Jenna. How you doing? Am I ready for the season? We're starting it off. Uh, yes. Uh, preseason for me is far too long, and I can't wait till, uh, till we get going. Hi, JV. Hey, buddy. Shout out to Dries. Yes, sir. The man, the myth, the legend. So we're going to be on for about 20, 25-ish minutes or so. The way we're going to do it is we're going to do a little question and answer. You guys post your question down below in the comment section. Uh, we've also gotten some fan-submitted questions here for me that I'm going to be looking at and answering as well. Um, at the end, stay tuned till the end. At the end, the person or account with the best question is going to be winning a Roots jersey picked by... Me and some of the uh, media staff members. So make sure you guys post your questions down in the comment section below. And I know you guys, you guys are going to have some uh, challenging, good questions for me. So uh, ask whatever it is. I'll try to get to everybody. Um, questions are coming in quick. Comments are coming in quick. So if I skip over you, I apologize. Let's see what we got here. Shout out KT. KT, how you doing, brother? That's my guy. All right. Well, let's just start it off with, there we go. We got a question right here from Sean Call Cauley. If you could play in any country in the world, where would you play? Uh, easy for me. That's the uh, Premier League, England. I think it's the best league in the world, uh, the best players in the world, and uh, you got a variety of style over there. You've got people that play possession. Uh, you got people that you know counter, play direct. You've got a bit of all of it. It's fast, exciting, beautiful. Beautiful soccer. Let's see. Sorry. Scrolling up to see some of these questions. Um, how can I be motivated every single day to not give up? It's a mindset. You just got you to gotta tell yourself if you've got a goal in mind, if you've got something to do, if you've got something to accomplish, you've got to get up and do it. Simple as that. Nobody's going to be, nobody's going to do it for you. Simple as that. Um, every single day, set a goal. Try to achieve it. If you don't achieve it for that day, push it off to the next day. But just continue going. Continue going and growing. That's all I can say to that. Be your own motivation. Don't have anybody else motivate you. As corny as that sounds, it's, it's true, believe it or not. How excited am I to train at the old Raiders facility? I'm a huge Raider fan, so uh, it's, it's going to be great. When I heard that we might, be, uh, we might be training there a couple months ago, I got real excited. Obviously, you know, players that I, I watched growing up played there, football that is. Uh, trained there, so it, it'll be cool to uh, to be on the same uh, grass field that that they once played on. Let's see what else we got here. One second, sorry. Question: What's the key to building strong dynamics when joining a new team? This can be sports, work, etc. Good question. Uh, personally, just getting to know everybody straight off the bat, uh, not just on the field or in the workplace, but also off the field, getting to know them personally. Uh, getting to know about their families, who they are, what they've been through, things they have overcome. Uh, that really 
makes you get a sense of who the person really is. Um, and, you know, maybe you guys might have some similarities or maybe you might learn something from, from somebody that you've never learned before or knew before. And, and I think eventually, I, I, I always like to say, off the, building a relationship off the field or out of the workplace, if you will, re resonates a lot on the field because you guys will, you know, get to know each other's tendencies and, and what you guys are thinking. And I think it's all of a correlation, honestly. Uh, which player was your role model growing up? Uh, I knew this question was going to come up. I have a few. Uh, I was quite young, but I still, I still do remember uh, him playing a lot. Zidane, just the elegance, the class. Uh, don't want to talk about the 2006 World Cup final, but uh, he was a guy that just, I realized, you know what, being technical on the ball, having good technique and just class is, is big time. So I idolized him, I idolized uh, a phenomenal Ronaldo, uh, just sheer pace, power, trickery, could score. Um, and then as I got older and I transitioned into a defender, I really started watching Sergio Ramos, who currently is my favorite center back. I know he's hated by many, but uh, nobody can deny that he's one of the best to do it. All those, uh, all those championships and uh, trophies are there to show. Um, hello, Hayward, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Tony KT, what are you looking forward to this season? Man, just like every season, uh, no season is the same. There's always some ups and downs, some challenges. But personally, I'm looking forward to, to meet my new teammates meeting our new head coach, uh, Juan, getting to, to work with him, learning myself, growing as a player, as a person, and honestly, just overcoming all the adversity that's thrown our way. Also, looking forward to just playing. Uh, I've been, been off for a month and a half, two now, and I'm itching to get back on the field and, and play. So, uh, If LeBron played soccer, what position do you think he will play? I don't know, forward probably? Fast, strong? Who knows? I don't like LeBron. So next question. What's my fitness routine? You know, it varies. Uh, I think the best fitness for a soccer player is to just go out and play. So there's a good group of us here in the Bay Area that go out and we just play pickup soccer and we run, you know, 5v5, 6v6, 7v7s. Uh, and it's good, competitive. It's a lot of it's a lot of pro guys, a lot of college guys, a lot of aspiring pro guys. And so we all get together and we play and it's, it's good. It's the best. Uh, you can't really mimic footy uh, fitness better than just playing it. So I think that's the best way to, uh, to get fit. <clears throat> Let's see. Once again, sorry if I uh, skip through your questions, guys. I'm being hit with a lot of questions and uh, I, I'm not going to be able to get to all of them, but I'll do my best. Let's see. Michelle asked, how was your journey becoming a pro? Like, how do you come adverse, overcome adversity? This is important to the sports world. Great question. Actually, really good question. I like that one a lot. My journey was, uh, was a little different than, uh, than most. Uh, everybody has their unique way of becoming a pro or their unique way of, of being where they are at the moment in time. But me personally... Uh, I went to Europe at a young age, injuries hit me, but that comes with the diversity, right? Uh, I didn't give up. I just kept going and I kept telling myself, look, I, I don't love anything as much as I love this. I don't think there is anything out there that I want to do as much as this. And so what I did is I just, I just kept pushing and pushing and I just believed in myself. I knew I was good enough. I believed in my talent. It was just a matter of being at the right place, the right time and, and having, you know, someone believe in you and I had family friends believe in me and that went a long way I also had a couple coaches that were really instrumental to my development as a as a younger player that helped me and in the long run it's it's a matter of going back to that first question is just being your self-motivation just knowing that look I'm going to I'm going to make this this is what I'm this is what I'm made for if you will and never stopping never giving up and just giving it your all day in and day out Good question. What sport would you play if you didn't play soccer? 100% uh, basketball. I'm a Yugoslavian, ex-Yugoslavia. So there's a lot of Serbians, Montenegrins, Croats, Slovenians, Luka Doncic in the NBA. So I definitely, definitely think that basketball would be my next choice of uh, sport to play. I also played in 7th and 8th grade. Sharp shooter, Steph Curry. Um, what do you think about the new player y'all signed, Alejandro Fuenmayor? Don't know much about him. Um, heard good things about him from a couple guys that have played with him. 
we're looking forward to meeting him. You know, it's always good to to get you guys in to to meet everybody. And you know, from day one, we're gonna get to know each other. We're gonna be teammates. We're gonna be fighting. Uh, with one another on the field come the weekends and at the end of the day it's all about coming together and, and getting victories for for Oakland for ourselves families friends and all of that for the city let's see any workout tips for my cousin Frank um stay consistent you know sometimes take a rest day don't go hard all the time uh it's it's tough once you once you get in a routine you fall in love with with results and all that stuff but don't let it get to your head you know your body's got to rest you have to you have to take that in consideration you don't want your body breaking down cuz it's a journey getting fit getting to where you want to go is a journey so that's all i got to say to that let's see bear with me sorry i'm going to answer one or two more on here and then i'm going to answer some of these submitted questions that are sent in um let's see Let's let's go. Uh, I'm not seeing any questions. One second. Let's see. Uh, all right. Let's see this. We've got which game are you looking forward to most in 2022? Oh, man. Um, well, schedule hasn't come out yet, but I do know we're going to be playing some East Coast teams, which will be good to see how West Coast, East Coast match up. Um, Playing my former teams in San Diego Loyal and Sac Republic are always going to be uh, fun. I always look forward to those games. Um, obviously, I've got some friends on that team, but as soon as you get on that pitch, there's no, there's no friendship. It's, it's me against you. We've got to win, you know? Um, who is your closest friend on the team? I've got a couple good friends on the team, you know? Uh, my roomie this past year, Max Ornstill, uh, he... He and I got on really well. He's a Bay Area guy as well. I knew him from before, so him and I got on really well. We were roommates as well, uh, like I said, when we went on the road. So uh, we just clicked. We had the same interest. Uh, really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed my time with him uh, on the road. It's always uh, never a dull moment with him. Uh, but a couple of other guys as well. I mean, everybody. I was cool with everybody. You know, I, I loved hanging out with everybody. It was just different vibes with whoever I hung out with. Good vibes. Uh, some funny guys on the team, man. I'll tell you that. It was a, this past year was a blast. Um, if you're not being hated on, you're not doing something right. Amen. Love that. It's a good one. Let's see. It says, what is, the, what is one of your most important personal values and how do you bring it to life? I think respect. Respect is... is Something growing up that was instilled in me from an, uh, from a young age, you know, respect your elders, respect uh, people's property, respect people, respect just everything around you because at the end of the day, without respect, without respecting others, you're not going to get that back. And so um, you don't know what other people are going through. You don't know the situation they're in. Can't judge people, you know, a book by its cover, if you will. So respect is something that... that I've learned from a young age and it's something that I'm going to pass on to my kids one day and I think it's personally a huge, huge thing um, just in general and, and, and being a good human being and, and society being where it's at, you know, people got to have respect for one another and I think respect is, is probably one of the most important values. And how do I bring it to life? I just try to respect others, you know, uh, treat others how you want to be treated and if you treat others with respect, you're going to get the same in return. If you treat others bad, well, you're asking for it. What's your favorite part about road trips? Max, you are, buddy. Um, let's see. What else we got over here? Mumba, come on, man. Why you got to? You're the handsome guy. You're the cutest guy on the team. Grach uh, or Burek? What's up, Habibi? So he's asking... Uh, Grah, which is this stew made out of beans, or burek, which is, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like this, uh, you could, the filling is, there's a majority filling. You got meat, you got cheese, you got potatoes. Uh, burek, burek is probably, uh, I'm going to have to le lean towards that. Let's see, Javi, Javi underscore soccer 10, baller by the way. This kid is going places, remember the name. Uh, what has been your most memorable moment as a pro player thus far? Um... I think playing for my na uh, national team <clears throat> and not just playing in, in 
Euro qualifiers or World Cup qualifiers, but just being honored to get called up and being able to represent where I'm from, being, represent, being able to represent my heritage, being able to represent where my parents are from, um, that was pretty great. Uh, majority of my family still I live in Montenegro, and so when I, when I, um, when I got called up the first time, uh, speaking to them, they came to one of the first games and just seeing the, the sense of pride and, and emotion in their faces uh, when I saw them after the game uh, really, really told me that, you know what, this has to be the greatest moment of my uh, professional career so far. And I think it's a great achievement if you get to play for your national team. Uh, I think that's the pinnacle of, of someone's career because it's hard to do. There's so many great players out there from, from everywhere in the world. And if you get to play for your national team, it's fantastic. Let's see. What is your diet? Oh, boy. Uh, during the off-season or during the season? It's completely different. But I try to stay consistent as much as possible. Um, you know, I like to have oatmeal with some fruit in the morning, uh, lunch. I'm a huge sandwich guy. But, uh, I love sandwiches, but salad. Uh, dinner, uh, my fiance and I do this thing called Blue Apron. So, you know, you pick your, you pick your uh, recipes, you pick what you want to eat, and everything comes, and then you make it accordingly. Um, and there's some really good uh, healthy recipes there, pastas, rice dishes, everything, all sorts of things. Let's see. Let me go back to the uh, fan-submitted questions here for y'all. Thank you for, uh, thank you for everyone. Uh, these questions are great. And I, once again, I apologize if I do not get to, uh, to your question. I'm trying my best. Uh, let's see. God, who's the fastest on the team? Uh, obviously, this is going to be based off of last year. Fastest on the team. Oh, boy. There's a couple, uh, couple contenders. We got Tarn, who's, uh, who's a quick little guy. We got uh, A. Papa, Ariel Mumba, pretty fast. Uh, the one guy that's surprising that not a lot of people uh, that people look at and you know take for granted is is Lindo. He's got a he's got a quick first couple steps and he gets going. Once he gets going, can't stop. Uh, damn, am I missing anybody? Akeem can get up there. He can. He's quite quick and fast. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, everybody, Chewy over here trying to gas me, telling me to cut my hair. Come on, man, it's off season. Give me a couple weeks. I'll be looking fresh. Don't worry, brother. Um, let's see. What do we have here? What did you sacrifice or give up to follow my dream of being a pro athlete? Um, excuse me. Man, you sacrifice a lot. I mean, you know, time from, from family, friends, uh, especially if you go play overseas or in a different state. You miss birthdays. You miss, you know, the birth of certain people, uh, you miss a lot of things. But the sooner you realize that you're doing this for the greater good of yourself and your family and your career and your future down the line, um, it's worth it. It's sad, but it's worth it. But luckily now with, uh, with you know, 20, 20, 22 and all that FaceTime and video chat being around, it's, it's great. You get to stay in touch with your loved ones. Uh, you still miss the events, but you're not too far away because you're able to, to at least see uh, some of the things that are, that are happening. Let's see what we got here. How does a training day look like by yourself? Good question. Um, so today, uh, I woke up, had breakfast, and then I went to uh, work out with Ben, who was our uh, strength and conditioning coach. Um, and boy, he, he killed me. To, for lack of better words, uh, did a little squats, did a little, honestly, it was a full body workout. And then at the end, it was a, a salt bike. Uh, if you go on his Instagram, you'll see the, uh, the events leading after the assault bike. Couldn't get up. My legs were jello. It was brutal. But other than that, you know, like I said, I go play pickup with a bunch of the uh, pro uh, slash college players here in the uh, Bay Area. We all uh, get together and uh, we just train, we do some drills. Uh, but Mainly we just play, pick up. And like I said, there's no other way to get fitter or, or, or get more fit than, than going and playing and, and doing drills that you're going to be doing in games. How many hours a day do I train? <clears throat> it varies, you know? I mean, it all depends. Do I have a game coming up? Do we, do we travel? It all depends uh, on what it is, right? But you also got to put time and effort after training on your own to, to stay fit, uh, injury prevention, make sure that you're ready to go the next day. So it never really stops, but 
you know, anywhere from, from two and a half, three to, to four hours a day or so, you have to put, put in the time and effort to, uh, to better yourself. And, and, you know, the more you do, the harder you work, the, the better results you get. Let's see. Uh, miss watching you guys playing. I can't wait for the season to start. I, I think you've got a lot of people there with you. Um, I personally can't wait for it to start. And I know all the fans out there who have been so supportive and we thank you guys so much. I know you guys are excited as well. So um, let's see what else we have. One second. Biggest 2021 lesson learned. Great question. Uh, I kind of knew this already, but it just kind of never give up. Honestly, I mean, so many people counted us out. The The season started off on a poor note, obviously. Uh, but you know what? All the guys just came together, and, and we we never gave up. We never, never gave up. And I think in life in general, not to be corny, uh, you just got to keep keep trucking, keep going, and, and, and believe in yourself, believe in the people around you that, that aspire you, that make you better, that help you, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, don't give up. Work hard to achieve your goals, dreams, whatever it is uh, in life that, that you're trying to get to. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough because, trust me, there was a lot of teams uh, that we played last year after we beat them that said, oh, well, you guys are celebrating. You guys are at the bottom of the table. You know, look at the turf you're playing on, this and that. And uh, all we had to do was, was smile and say, fair enough, that's fine. But we just beat you at the end of the day. You're as good as your last game. And uh, look where it brought us. We got to the playoffs, uh, beat a team that was unbeaten for, for, what was it, two years or so almost? Never give up. Easy as that. Let's see. Who has the best hairline? Uh, Chewy, you clearly asked that question because you know it's you. Uh, but Chewy, Chewy's got a pretty decent hairline. It's also like 23, so give it give it some years. Maybe it'll start pushing back. Uh, let's see some of these questions here. We're going to go about another 10-ish or so minutes, guys. Um, what do we got here? What music do I listen to before a big game? Uh, just in general, before any game, I listen to, uh, I listen to hip-hop and R&B. You know, on the way to the game, in the bus or, or whatever, I listen to some R&B just to calm me down, but... As soon as I hit that pro pre-workout, get in the locker room, we just start slapping a little baby, some Bay Area music, some uh, just just rap, something to get us hyped up, get us going, a little Meek Mill, a little Dreams and Nightmares. Uh, but hip-hop and R&B uh, is probably my go-to uh, before games. Big games, any type of games, really. Uh, let's see. What was my best memory from last season? So many to choose from, man. I mean, honestly, uh, the day I signed with the Roots was was pretty big for myself and my family. Uh, as I said, I'm a, I'm a Bay Area kid. I was born in, in Yugoslavia, ex-Yugoslavia, Montenegro, but I came here as a little kid, eight years old, and spent majority of my life here. So uh, to be able to represent the place that kind of raised me uh, was massive for me. And I've been gone for so long, playing elsewhere for so long, that it was great that my family was able to be there for every single home game. I had friends come out and... Uh, Going back to a previous question, I was able to be, I was, I was, excuse me, I was there for birthdays, I was there for celebrations that I had missed in the past, and uh, those things, uh, you know, nobody can take back, uh, can take away from me, so. What else? What soccer team do you support and why? I've got two, uh, Chelsea and Real Madrid. Chelsea I started supporting back in 2000, 2001. My dad uh, adored Gianfranco Zola, and that was actually the first jersey I ever got. Um, personally, I started following the Galacticos back in the uh, early 2000s as well. As I said, Zidane is one of my favorite players, so it's a, a phenomenon. So them being on the same team uh, made it an easy decision for me to follow. Let's see. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and see some questions. Uh, Let's see. I think the season starts sometime in March. Um, but preseason starts at the end of this month. Let's see. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. Harish, he is fast too. He's more quick. He's quicker than he's faster. Let's see. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just scrolling down. There's so many waves and likes and all of that. Let's see. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. One day, are you thinking of becoming a coach? Good question. Thought about it. Um, at this moment in time, I'm just focused on, on, on being a player. Uh, obviously, I've done camps this past off season. I've gone and helped uh, some of my buddies out coaching, and I do enjoy it. I do think it's fun. I do, uh, I do when I do personals. I do enjoy seeing kids develop and and get better over time. And so, it's definitely a beautiful thing to watch and uh, be a part of. So, I'm not ruling it out completely. It's something that's definitely in the back of my mind. Something that I'm considering, but. At the moment in time, I'm uh, really excited and, and, and happy to just be playing and continuing this journey. And so until that time comes, uh, I'm just going to be focusing on, on myself and uh, this upcoming season. Let's see, what else do we got here? I'm going to answer. We've got about four minutes left, guys. I'm going to answer about three to four more questions. If you got any, I'm going to scroll down to the end here. And then I am going to call it quits. Favorite E40 song? Oh, there's a couple, man. Uh, I don't know. Top of my head, Gouda. Um, man, my Ghetto Report card was probably my favorite album. One of my favorite albums. But Gouda always gets me going. I like that song a lot. Obviously, uh, can't remember the song right now. With Keek the Sneak. Obviously, that one is, is, is a classic, too. Um, how, here we go. We got a good question here. How different do you think the other teams in the league viewed you guys from the beginning of the season and in the end of the season? Do you think you guys earned the respect in the league now? Great question. Uh, I think so, and I know so because there's a lot of players that teams that we've played earlier on in the year and then later on in the year that have come up to you know me and several of my teammates and you know dapped us up and said, "Hey man, you guys turned things around. Well done. You guys started rolling. You guys look like a." like a fantastic team and a team to beat. And uh, I'm not sure if this stat is completely correct or not, but in the first 12 games, we had six points or so. And in the next 20, I don't think anybody got more points than us in the league. And so uh, it just goes to show that can pour. There we go. We got our things together. And uh, I think we gained a lot of respect uh, from people in the league. And like I said, once we start adding more pieces to this upcoming season, I uh, definitely think there's going to be a target on our back. I mean, people aren't going to take us lightly anymore. They're, they know that we're here to stay and that we're going to be contenders to, to going into the playoffs. And the goal is a championship at the end of the day. I'm going to do two more questions, guys. Two more. Let's see. See. How was it playing with Ibra? Uh, Ibra was great. That's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, Man, the guy's an animal. Uh, what you see on TV, all the skill, the flair, this and that, is is exactly how he was in training. I remember first training session, uh, we're doing this crossing and finishing drill, and a ball was crossed in, and it was you know a little behind him, and we all thought, oh, you know, he's gonna be mad, and it wasn't a good ball. But this guy out of nowhere just props his leg up, don't even know how he did it, and literally with the side of his foot hits the ball, side net, and scores, and. We all just look at each other and kind of amaze, and at the same time, we were all expecting that. So uh, it was great. It was good to learn from him. It was good to you know chat with him, pick his pick his brain. Uh, what's great is we're we're also you know he's Bosnian Croatian, so we speak the same language. So we were able to to speak in in our uh, native tongue, and uh, we got along real well actually. Let's see. All right, guys, I'm gonna do two more questions, and then I'm going to pick the winner of the of the the winner of the jersey and we will dm you and let you know that you're a winner so stay tuned and uh peep your dms afterwards let's see we got another question from michelle here second question has mamba mentality helped you succeed man two four was something else i mean eight was something else as well but two four was uh on any given day, you could just turn it up and, and, and do something crazy, take over the game. Uh, speaking of Kobe Bryant, uh, rest in peace. But uh, he was great, man. Uh, honestly, top five, top three, if not uh, 
greatest players of all time. But Mamba mentality, man, everybody talks about it, but it, it truly is a thing, and it's something that everybody should live by, you know? It's Mamba, baby. Papa, get out of here, man. All right, last one. Kobe or LeBron? Kobe all day. I'm not a big LeBron fan, as I stated earlier. Um, Chewy, man, you got enough jerseys, brother. Come on now. All right, last question, guys. Last question, and I got to get going, yeah? Um, let's see. I'm going to see in what there is here. What's your goal for the 2022 season? Uh, not sure if I answered that one already, but, man, my goal is 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 – to be healthy, first and foremost, personally, um, like I said, get to know my teammates, uh, become one, and go on a run like we did last year. You know, uh, we're trying to—we're not trying to just make the playoffs. We're trying to win a championship for the city of Oakland. Uh, everybody that comes in believe that they're there to rep the town, and guys from the town, guys from the area, they—they'll—they'll they'll make sure everybody knows what it's what it's like to play for the town and what it means to. Uh, to be in Oakland and play for the Roots. So uh, goals personally is to stay healthy, uh, give my all for the team, uh, and I know collectively as a group uh, we're all going to come together and, and try to bring home a championship for the, uh, for the Roots. At the end of the day, that's all that matters is, is winning games, but, but also uh, inspiring the younger generation in any way possible and, and reaching out to the community and giving back I think is a huge thing, and uh, Oakland deserves it, man. It's a great city. Um, but with that, we're going to conclude getting, uh, getting a little, little eyes over here from the media team to wrap it up. Uh, we've gone a little longer than, than we should have. I want to thank you guys all for, um, I want to thank you guys all for coming on the live. I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I am hearing here that the winner of the winner of the Jersey is Michelle Veliz underscore or so Michelle if you are still here, stay tuned, check your DMs. Uh, the Roots and myself will reach out to you and we'll get all your information and send you guys the jersey. But I just want to thank you guys once again. I look forward to the 2022 season and uh, my little puppy, we just got a new. One second. Here he is. This is Buddy. Say hi. Say hi. Big Roots fan. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let's all have a good season together, and I'll see you guys out there soon. Take care.